surely you can have this kind of relationship and that kind of relationship and, and, and. Surely it won't kill you. Live a little bit, right? You know that voice that says, eh, you're no good. You're not worthwhile. You gotta prove yourself. How do you prove yourself? Well, I gotta, it's the perception of what you think of me. So I gotta wear certain things and act a certain way and do certain things. And that weight of all that, that's where I go to a solution. That is actually trying to kill me. So when you look at this, that solution outside of this solution, which is really what we're, the, the whole journey of this is to go up the mountain and, and maybe you've experienced the solution of God. Maybe you've never even had that concept, but the whole point of this is the journey and experience a new solution. And so when you get a solution outside of that, it almost opposes everything. Isolation, if you know anything about addiction, what does it start out as? Remember you got the little click and you're the bad kids or you're the cool kids or whatever it is and you're behind the school or you're at the river? Personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> right? And you have this little click, right? And then you try some of this and try some of that at a different party and you're like, oh, wow. Where has this been all my life? Oh, the acceptance, the love, the people, like, I, I, ease and comfort, right? And then what happens 10 years later, 15 years later? Doesn't it try to take your life every time? Or put you in jail? Or in a mental hospital? That's the end of it, right? And most of us don't even know that it's happening. You die spiritually. You do. So this is what's separating us. Guilt, shame, fear, resentment. It's the block to the solution. Is, is, this, stuff e is this stuff easy to live a certain way? How do you know what the certain way is? How do you know what relationships look like or shelter or clothing like what's what who's telling you what 50 kilometers is i don't know why i use 50 kilometers why is that like the city average oh okay thank you <laughs> is 50 kilometers an hour right who's telling you that where, where does it come from well it comes from my friends it comes from work it comes from my parents what's okay and what's not okay right to these instincts The reality is, is there is truth. There is absolute truth. Just like there is on the road. The stop, yellow, green. Some of us interpret them differently, right? Green means go. Red means stop. Yellow means? No, it doesn't. It means caution. Look out, it's going red. You know, the greatest thing they've done in traffic, in traffic history, I believe what they've done, the, the greatest thing I've seen is the countdown. Yes. And then I think some of them are tricking us because why, I can't see, why is that one blurry? Oh, there's a red light camera there. And then I'm like, okay, is it actually going in? Anyway, I'm, I, got, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> I might be up here teaching, but I need this more than you do. <laughs> It's like, how much do you need this kind of stuff? I always look at the guy that goes to the gym. If you've been to the gym, have you been to the gym? You go to the gym once in a while? <laughs> I'm too busy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, when I go to the gym, I don't see a ton of overweight people. Like, I, I actually, I feel insecure sometimes. It's like I see all the people, and I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm worried about my form, and, you know, as same as this journey. How, my, how when are you, the when, are, when have you arrived? Right? And then what's the point of it? Right? So that's, sorry, that's not dry. It's a coffee. <laughs> the goal of this journey is 
to take away these blocks. I look at them as a corner store, your heart is a corner store, and all of these things, you, you've got stuff on your shelves. You got your spaghetti, you got your, come on, that is somebody. <laughs> you got your diapers. <laughs> yeah. For some kids, you got your milk, uh, yeah. And, and, and you, you take inventory, right? You, like you got it as a business owner. You got to see what you got, you got to reorder stuff. And, and you could be taking the inventory and going like, like who put, like, come on, seriously? Joe Louis from 1978? They don't even make these, right? It's the full moons. They went down to the half moon. You know, cut back. <laughs> half the calories. <laughs> Thanks for the half moon. Good, good marketing. Uh. And it's like, have you ever eaten a very old Joe Louis? Did you know that they go, like people have eaten those, like they last forever. I ate one that I found one. It was one of those days looking for a snack in the snack drawer and it had fallen behind. And I'm like, glory, this is the day that the Lord hath made. I got a Joe Louie. It's like, woo. I pour my glass of milk. I open the package and I bite in. And it was this formaldehyde. Like as soon as I put it in my mouth, I'm like, <laughs> milk, milk, milk. And I still remember the flavor of it. I still remember the taste. And it's like, that has no right. It's bad when that happens, right? That expectation. And it's like, that's what we have in our heart. And this is what people are buying. Here, come. Come and shop and let me give you a formaldehyde to Joe Louis. That's full size and everything, right? And I want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of these so that God can put the love, the joy, the acceptance. And then I'm not proving myself. I'm not striving. I'm not out of line, out of order, out of order. I'm going to do a little video because you guys love videos and stories. Man, God is ugly, eh? <laughs> right? Ten, 10 years to get it and then two weeks shipping. It's like, yeah, I got this. Always looking for the shortcut. So we will come back to this as well. Uh, we're going to look at how we're made. Uh, how we're made in the image of God. How we're uh, designed. And so we have three parts. We have our spirit. I feel like I need another color. Ooh. We have our spirit, soul, and body. And we will go into these greatly. Uh, I, like, I love uh, Mark 12, 17 in the Bible. There's a story about the... Uh, the, the righteous people, the, the Pharisees, the guys that are, you know, actually killed Jesus at the end. And they were always trying to trick him and, and, and uh, get in his way. And uh, they were, they, they asked the question, uh, is it right to, to, to pay your taxes? And uh, Jesus knew that they were trying to trick him. And so he says, give me a coin. Come on, everybody, give me a coin. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pass the basket around. And he, and he takes a coin and he goes, what's on the back of that? Whose image is that? Caesar. Caesar. And he says, give to Caesar what is Caesar's. And they're like, oh. You know, th that was it. But what I'm asking is, if you give to Caesar what Caesar's, then what do you give God? And it's your heart because God's inscribed his heart. This coin has the inscription of Caesar, but God has the inscription of your heart. And that's, that's our goal is to give God our heart. And so when it comes to our spirit, the way that we've been designed is to be able to connect spirit to spirit with God. Um, and we can connect to lots of things. Maybe you have that experience. So...
the basic components in our spirit is uh, our identity. And I'm going to go, we're going to go back into this. So identity, our creativity, our communication with God, our worship, our conscience, that kind of thing.